Today's video we're going to go over the controls of the PowerDNA control suite and some of its basic functions. Start off by logging onto your dedicated server through via remote desktop. Next you will open up the PowerDNA control suite. You will be prompted for a login. Your username is PowerDNN. Password is PowerDNN. And then click login and then you will agree to the terms of service. Highlighted in the center here, you will have all of your primary functions of the PowerDNA control suite. The first one I want to go over is the install. Your instructions are here, say server, domains, your domain, and then click done and it is not installed. So you go server, domains, the domain that we're going to install .NET Nuke on. And as you can see, .NET Nuke is not installed. You'll then select your install .NET Nuke function. Our default package is going to be the most recent version. For the video purposes, I'm going to change this to 491. The last thing you need to do is click Execute. And it will begin the .NET Nuke installation for you. When completed, it will bring up a web interface showing you the dynamic installation that you just installed. Okay, the next feature I want to go over is called the upgrade tool. What this does is it allows you to take an older version of .NET Nuke and apply the upgrades so that you can have the most recent and most secure version of .NET Nuke. To do that, to start, I'll start over. It'll be server, domains, your domain, and then you're going to click on the .NET Nuke version. As you can see, I've got a different set of options here. I'm going to go ahead and select upgrade. The first thing it's always going to do whenever you upgrade a site is to back it up first. Not everything is always upgradable, so it's always good to have a backup to refer back to. Going ahead and select the version of Dungeon Nuke we're going to upgrade to. We're going to upgrade to 493. And then we're going to click Execute. You're going to agree to the command. And it is now backing up the site and preparing to upgrade it. And as you can see, our upgrade is complete. We can go ahead and view it to make sure everything's working properly. And there's our site. The next feature I want to go over is the PowerDNA clone tool. To do that, you're going to go back to domains, select the domain you're working with, and then select the, the .NET Nuke version you're using. At that point in time, you'll see the clone .NET Nuke tool. Go ahead and select that. It will automatically back up your destination site first. Ideally, it should be blank, so a backup won't be necessary. And then you will select your destination site. You'll see a familiar menu here. It's going to drop down exactly the same. Server, domains, and we're going to pick the destination site. And as you can see, Dynan Nuke is not installed. If Dynan Nuke is already installed, you'll want to delete that before continuing with the clone tool. Select OK. You'll also want to make sure that remain, rename aliases is checked. This way it'll rename the URL for you so that the new site will come up under the new URL. And then you will click Execute. And here we have the same site under clonedomain.com. These are the main functions of the PowerDNA control suite. It has a lot of other features, such as migrating other backups, as well as taking backups directly. You can even 
log you into your site by simply clicking log in as host. As you can see, I did not type anything and I'm logged into the website.